Okay, so now it's your turn to have a go. So given this function here, f of x equals x to the power of 2 over 5. Um, establish if this is an even function, an odd function, or neither. So remember from our section on indices, we don't really understand what it means to, ha to have a power of a fraction. So, so whenever you see this, break it up. From our section on indices, whenever you have a fraction here like this, you can break it up as, um, as x to the power of, let's say, 1 over b, and then to the power of a, or you can break it up as x to the power of a, and then to the power of 1 over b. Re remember, it's, uh, it's this times this here. If you get this times this, it will give you a, b. Because when you times, um, uh, it's these two multiplying together. So here, this times this will still give you a, b. Well, anyway, so um, given this function here, is it an even function or is it an odd function? So uh, press pause and have a go. Okay, so let's um, let's test to see if it's an even function. So so apply this transformation here. So um, so put this into here. So so given our original function here, let's apply this transformation. So f of minus x here uh, equals. So so we are going to put this minus x into this thing here. So it will be. My, uh, I'm, I'm going to use a bubble here. You, you can do whatever you want here. Uh, minus x here. Okay, so I'm putting this into the x itself. So so it will be two to the power of, of five here. Okay. So here, um, now I've got to try and understand what this truly means. Um, I could actually um, I could actually break it up as this. Uh, let's try and break this up as as this. Um, minus x. So this is uh, I can square it and then power it to uh, to a fifth. Remember, powering a fifth is like you taking the fifth root. I, I, I can so starting from here, I could either visualize it as this, or I could visualize it as as this. Hang on, um, minus x, um, and and uh, and then take take the to the power of a fifth, and then uh, and then square it. Whichever is easier. So looking at so so don't forget starting from here you could visualize it as this or you could visualize it as this now look I, I would choose to visualize it as this because look at this when you square this it's it's really easy whereas this one here is harder you can still understand it but it's it's slightly harder so I, I'm I'm going to visualize it as this okay so so let's um let's forget about this then hang on. So, uh, so looking at this here, this minus x squared will um, will will be x squared. Will, so, so minus x times minus x here, it will always be positive x. So this thing here will be positive x squared. Sorry, should, yeah, this times this will be positive x squared, and then uh, and then don't forget r r to the power of a fifth, to the power of a fifth. Okay, now. Um, now, now this this thing here, um, this here, well, sorry, it, it's like it's from from our section on indices, it's this times this. So it, it's actually like this. Hang on, x um, to a power of two over five. You see, um, we we start we applied the transformation here, giving us this. Now we didn't when when we first got this, it's hard to it's hard to see that this. Uh, that this is truly the same as our, our original function. Remember, we applied this function here, and we got this complicated thing here, and then uh, and then it's hard to spot that this thing. Uh, it's hard to spot that this thing here is actually the same as this thing here. But well, when 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 you apply this transformation here, you you will get to this this thing here. But your aim is to check if this thing here is the same as the original. You can't. By, by glancing at this, you cannot tell if this is the same as this. That's why we had to follow it through. So follow it from here to here, and then and then from here, uh, from here uh, to here, and then it turns out that it happens to be the, the same as the original function. So um, so this so yeah so so after applying this transformation here, which which gave us this here. Um, this is in fact the same as the original. Therefore, therefore, uh, this 
equals this. If if this equals this, then therefore uh, this function here is even. Okay. So uh, yeah. So so this is even. Uh, I'm not going to bother checking the the odd because if it's even, then then it um, if it's an even function, then it cannot be an odd unless it's a uh, uh, f of x unless it's this function here, this silly function here. Okay. Well, if, if it's an even function, uh, the chances are it's not going to be an odd function. Okay.